Hello all and welcome back to New Hope Tarot. We will be doing your reading for February 16th. I've already meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled, but as always, I will go ahead and shuffle live. Let's go ahead and get the overall energies for today, okay? today we have release and expand all right so what I'm getting here is that is that okay so you have to release your old ways of thinking in order to expand and connect to a new wavelength. Um, that's the word they're giving me. I wanted to use a different word, but they they said wavelength. So I'm, I'm gonna go with wavelength. I hope that means something to you. It's gotta be specific to somebody, I'm, I'm assuming, because they, they gave me that word specifically. Um, This also could be, thank you, my angels. This could also be that you could be in a place of business or in a relationship. I, for the majority of you, this is going, it, this is, has to do with a place of business that you're at and you can't really go anywhere, uh, anywhere else w within this particular uh, company. And in order to expand um, either your financial status, make more money, or uh, learning something new, it looks like you're going to have to leave this particular job or at least the position that you're in and go into something different that maybe um, you might not be comfortable with um, and you have to maybe release control of that and let go of of what you think you are capable of, right? Um, this is, I guess what I'm overall saying is that what this really uh, stating to you in very layman's term is open your mind to uh, different opportunities, different ways of seeing things is really what this is saying. Um, and then we have the temperance in reverse that came out. The four of cups that just jumped. Wow. All of these guys are just jumping out. And then we have the three of swords. Okay. So let's, let's look at these cards. Yeah. Before we get, uh, clarification on them. So the temperance in reverse, basically this is saying that you might be feeling, um, a little bit indecisive or, a, I, I just feel like you have a lack of perspective. Um, I feel like you're not seeing what's right in front of you. And I feel like this really has to do with just Fear. Like doing something new is scary to you. That's what I'm getting. Uh, then we have the Four of Cups, which is ref <sighs> it's like you're not seeing it. I mean, it's the same feeling that I'm getting with the Temperance. It's like you're not seeing it. I I feel like it's very clear that this is something um, that you should do. I, either you've been fantasizing about doing something different, but I feel like you are like talking yourself out of it is really what I'm getting. And I feel like you're bored with where you're at and you're just wanting something new, but what you're wanting, you feel it, you're not capable of achieving or obtaining. And Meanwhile, like the opportunity is there and you're just not taking it. 
Um, then we have the three of swords. And what I'm getting is, is that I feel like you're really torn, conflicted about staying because you're bored with where you're at. And again, I'm getting overall that this really has to do with business this could be in a relationship obviously but overall i feel like this is more your place of work i feel like you're so conflicted because you really are bored i'm really getting bored bored is the biggest word that's coming to me um or, or not challenged um with where you're at and you want to expand your horizons but you feel like what you want to do is is scary as all get out or you don't feel like it's obtainable and you're constantly going back and forth between logic and daydreaming and and it's this i feel like there's there's inner conflict that's happening in regards to staying or going with wherever it is you go or wherever it is uh, you're at, I should say. I'm going to get some clarification cards. Listen, you guys, we live once. That's all I got to say. We only have one life to live. Four of cups in reverse. I feel you're bored. I mean, like, no joke. I feel like you are bored. This, this is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're satiated with where you're at. You know, you get, you know, a decent amount of money. You know, you're kind, you're comfortable, you know, but you're not satisfied overall. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Two more clarification cards. Oh, and look at that. Two more clarification cards. A five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. In reverse. You guys, listen. The five of pentacles is saying, yeah. Yes, you have some hardships for sure. It financially, possibly. If, if you go and take this new route, you might have some um, hiccups financially if you take the route that you're wanting to take. Um, let's say, for instance, um, you're wanting to start a startup and you really want to just focus on that and you're wanting to leave your job, right? So yeah, of course, you're not gonna make money immediately, probably, right? So set some money aside or go down to part-time or start something that's, uh, something that you can do here and there or maybe um, uh, give time to it uh, once a week so that you can kind of build your base a little bit before you just leave work, right? If you're concerned about your money, because I feel like that's really your biggest holdup. The finances section of it, um, or the finance uh, finances portion of it. Then we have the wheel of fortune. This is, listen, you make your own fate. And if you choose not to go, don't go. But know that if you don't go, you're going to be stuck in an area or in a job that doesn't really fulfill you. That's what this is telling me. So either stay where you're at, not be fulfilled, or take a shot on yourself. And sure, you might not make a lot of money at first, but at least you'll be happy right? That's, those are your options. And that's probably why you're so conflicted going the, this back and forth. So again, what I'm trying to tell you is, listen, take your time. You don't have to jump away from what you're doing. Either 
do it, do your side hustle part time and, and build it a little bit at a time and stay where you're at. And then once you get a little bit more comfortable, then go ahead and step down to part time and then do the other thing a little bit more. And then when you're ready, leave the job and then go. Or if this is something that you really want, listen, um, borrow some money off of your, uh, some, some of your savings. And, and see how that far how that will take you. Talk to a financial advisor. Talk to somebody that can possibly give you a perspective that you can't see, right? But the possibilities are there. Now, if this has to do with a love relationship, obviously you're not terribly happy with the person that you're with or the way the relationship is going, right? If that's the case, either shake things up and try to make something happen. But I feel like that's something that you've already done, right? That you've already tried to make something happen. So yes, you might have some hardships um, in, in feeling alone. Maybe this person that you're with might be boring, but you know, they offer you some financial security, right? Well, okay, that's fine. So do you want to be bored with this person? Or would you want to spend some time with somebody that gives you like puts breath back into your life gives you meaning and, and i'm not saying that you need somebody to give you meaning you can do that by yourself right and maybe that's what you need to do invest in yourself put meaning back into your life instead of having to be with somebody and i feel like you like i literally saw you roll your eyes right now <laughs> Because I feel like that's the kind of energy that, that you're with. And I feel like you're just kind of going, well, if I leave, then I won't have the comforts that I have right now. Well, sure, you might not have the comforts financially, but you'll probably have the comforts in other areas, right? So you have to be willing to give up something in order to move forward. Those are your choices. Either be stuck or get unstuck. The choice is yours. Nobody has control of your life but yourself. This is really what this is saying here. Um, whether you're, whether you will move on or not, I don't know. I'll see if I can get um, a clarification card here, an, an additional card. Oh, look, it says yes, Ace of Pentacles. There you go. There's definitely new opportunities out there. You just have to take it. And it looks like because it's the Ace of Pentacles, these new opportunities are going to actually bring you more stability emotionally, financially, even spiritually than what you had before. You just have to be willing to let go. All right, my dear ones. I hope this re uh, reading did resonate. Like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, you know what to do. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.